get set for St. Lucia and Belize from Estadio Nacional de Football in Managua, Nicaragua. Welcome in. I'm Josh Toll. St. Lucia coming off a loss against Guatemala by a score of 5-0 to zero as they look to bounce back. Meanwhile, Belize, they got their first goals here in qualification as they fell 3-2 to two to Nicaragua. As we take a look at our pitch conditions, 87 degrees this evening. Wind at 26 miles an hour. We'll see if rain does come through at 51% chance there. That could cause some issues when it comes to slipping on the field. If it does, then you add in the wind. That can make things even worse for both these sides. Still undecided here in Group F. Costa Rica and Guatemala up there at the top, along with Nicaragua, St. Lucia, and Belize in the bottom two spots. Costa Rica will play Nicaragua here later on this evening. Nicaragua must win that game in order to advance. But up next, right here at Group F, St. Lucia and Belize starting 11 when we return. Damas y la bienvenida a los equipos nacionales de Santa Lucía y del Este para el partido de esta tarde de clasificatoria femenino sub-20 de Concacaf 2023. Caballeros, nos pondremos de pie y escucharemos las notas del Hino Nacional de Santa Lucía. Pedimos en pie 
y escucharemos las notas del himno nacional de México. Moments away from opening kick here between St. Lucia and Belize here in Group F play. Both these two teams looking for their first win here in qualification play. And it could come tonight for either one of these sides for Belize. This is their last game in qualification, so you know they want to go out on top. Meanwhile, for St. Lucia, this qualification, their group stage began on Monday. So this is their third game as they look to get their first win. As we take a look at our starting 11, we'll begin with St. Lucia in between the sticks. Triana Bousset, Haza Alexander will get the start as well as Marissa Duncan, Armani Jones, the captain, Arnika Lewis, Frigian Joseph, Makaya Smith, Faith Regis, Gianna Hilton, Sabrina Averill, and Aline St. Ange will be the starting 11. Coach is Emmanuel Velas. Meanwhile, for our officials in the middle, Anias Rosario will be in the center of the field. Angelica Pena and Abigail McKenzie on the touchlines. And Sandra Benitez will be our fourth official as our two captains come together. Hermady Jones there for St. Lucia and Roshani Narvarez, the captain of Belize. Belize fell three to two against Nicaragua. So they're looking to continue that momentum in terms of scoring goals and see if they can get a rhythm here early, get on the front foot against this St. Lucia side, make St. Lucia play on their heels as we take a look now at the starting 11 for Belize. Belinda Linares in between the sticks, Janelle Nunez, Tori Ramirez, Chandra Casimiro, Rashani Navarez, Shaley Flowers, Sania Apolonio, Kalidia Velasquez, who was the goal scorer in the loss against Guatemala. Meanwhile, Shamika Lambi, Elva Nunez, and Najeli Myers will get the start. Wayne Casimiro is the coach of Belize. Belize will come out in their all blue kits with the white numbers and white short sleeves. Meanwhile, for St. Lucia, they will be in the yellow kits with the black short sleeves and black numbers. Both teams ready to go. As there, you get a look at Wayne Casimiro for Belize. for Belize, just mentioned Blaskas who scored those two goals in the last game. As she looks to continue her scoring streak, the question for Belize is, who's gonna be the other player to join her in the attack to be a little bit more dangerous in that final third? Meanwhile, for St. Lucia, who's it gonna be on their side as they still look for their first goal? Will it be Joseph? Will it be Arnika Lewis? Romani Jones, the captain, has had a couple opportunities from the midfield but no player as of yet has been able to slot one through. St. Lucia, just the two games played as they began against Costa Rica falling nine to zero. Meanwhile, then they took on Guatemala by a score of five to zero. Belize, the final game, they fell 13 0 versus Costa Rica, fell to Guatemala, and then lost to Nicaragua on Wednesday. And Anais Rosario gives us the go ahead, and we are underway in Managua, Nicaragua, between St. Lucia and Belize here in Group F. As this is played into the circle in Hilton. Now it'll be relayed out. 
as St. Lucia moving with a little pace here early. Let's see if they can get on the front foot as Joseph is offside. I like the ball movement already here by St. Lucia. Good connection on those first couple of passes, just that offside flag being up. And here is Shamika Lambie out of Jewel Fury FC is where she plays her club football and she'll play it short. So Belize will build out from the back. Let's see what kind of pressure St. Lucia plays on. We've seen them play a low block, a majority here in qualification play, but right now pressing up a little bit higher here against Belize. This ball played to midfield, but no one there for Belize as St. Lucia wins the ball. Now one back right there by Velasquez, the goal scorer. She was looking to slide this pass through, but hits off the heels, Belize able to recover. Played out by Casemiro, nice little threaded ball. Kicked away on the save by Bousset. Bousset making her first stop at the game against Velasquez. Bousset came in for the injured Auguste the other day. And here, Bousset getting her first look. A nice little kick save on that one. A lot of times you'll see goalkeepers go to the ground to try to make that stop. She stood her ground, stayed big, and was able to kick the ball away with her right. That's got to give her a little bit of confidence here early in this game as the ball is intercepted and then popped up over by Joseph. Tracking forward is Lewis. Lewis gets to the ball first, then knocked off here by Ramirez. This ball played out wide to the far touch line. That ball intended for Velasquez. Also in the area was Shalali Flowers. And Jilly Myers will send it in. Nunez knocked off the ball. This ball poked up by Belize, back to midfield. Nunez, this ball knocked aside by St. Lucia and St. Lucia gives it right back to Casemiro. She'll drop it off. Ball pinballing around, played out wide. Apollonio will play it in. Good shoulder to shoulder action here with Joseph. Joseph doing a good job there, keeping Flowers off the ball. Nunez drives it in, sent away by St. Lucia. Good clearance there by Aline St. Ange. Plays for B1 FC. You can see there her apologizing to Bousset. So Bousset was calling for that ball. St. Ange, though, probably couldn't hear. Played it across the inline. We'll have our first corner of the game. Navarez plays it short, gets it on the return. Back post ball, volley try, no good. The turn, this goes over the head of Flowers and comes up to the top of the area, volleyed on and just on top of the webbing there for Belize. Belize being here the aggressor in the opening four minutes of play. This ball right at the feet of Apollonio. Now the top of the 18, driven on. Bousset makes another stop on Flowers. So she stopped Velasquez and now she stops Flowers. Maybe a little bit more to the left on that shot by Flowers. That gets by Bousset, but that was a great quality strike. Confidence early here for Belize. He's one of these Latin American countries that's le uh, landmarked here in Central America. Meanwhile, St. Lucia, an island in the Caribbean. Casemiro relays it back. Play down the line. Duncan limping up, but able to start running. Duncan back to win the ball back for St. Lucia. A nice little back heel to herself. Plays it down the touchline. Nunez getting involved, coming up from that 
right back position. Long throw looking for Velasquez. Casemiro, back post ball. Who said able to get there at the top of the six, lurking in the area to Elva Nunez. If Nunez can get her head to that, maybe she can pop it over Busset. Active opening six minutes to play for Busset, the goalkeeper of St. Lucia. Stabbed out on the play there by Sabrina Averill. Shot from distance, and once again, knocked down by Averill. This one goes into the corner on the rebound try. Averill knocked it down, but right to Belize. And Belize gets on the scoreboard first, and Shalali Flowers. Good job by Flowers with the strike. Busset this time could not get to it. Nice left-footed ball off the missed touch by Averill going right to the foot of Flowers and she has her first goal. That goal coming in the seventh minute. Mark it officially the six. And now let's see how St. Lucia responds. Good give and go passing right here. Duncan trying to slip it through and then poked out wide. An opportunity here for Joseph. Loses possession though. Duncan looking for Joseph to see if she's onside. Sent away by Belize. And I think that's going to be the late offside flag. Yes, it is. So Belize has now scored in back to back games. First place person not named Velasquez to score as well for Belize. There you can see clearly off. Averill. Slot forward to the captain, Jones. Tavares hands it over. Ball pinballing around, comes to the feet here of Joseph. Oh, missed touch here. See if St. Lucia can take advantage, but fanning on that kick was Lewis. Arnika Lewis got her right foot to it, just no power behind it. Trying to time it off the volley. Maybe knocked off balance there at the shoulder. This foul is going to go against Marissa Duncan. There's he Duncan getting the leg clearly of Apollonio. Nunez will play it back and Belize will start from the back line. Navarez. Good pressure right here by Faith Regis getting the start this evening. Regis has also been used as a sub here in qualification play. Nunez. Looked at a slip by there. Alexander unable to do so. Plays it into the center. Navarez wasn't making a run towards the ball as that's intercepted on the play by St. Lucia. Now thread through to Lewis. Lewis on the far side. Lewis has runners with her. Lewis pass the front. That would have been offside if that got through. Hard challenge at the top of the 18, no foul. Cleared away by Belize. Belize now looking to turn and run here on the counter. Apollonio, good job there by Duncan cutting off the angle of Apollonio. Now she'll work her way past midfield. Challenge right there, coming up from behind was Janelle Nunez. Nunez, luckily she wasn't called for a foul there for Belize, otherwise that's coming in a dangerous position on the free kick for St. Lucia. It's ball driven over the top, no one up front for Belize. Jones plays it outside. Good effort to keep that in by Joseph. Looking to give it back to Hermione Jones. 
She's just making things difficult there for the back line of Belize, but she goes down to the surface. Slow to get up. One more game for St. Lucia. They will play on Sunday night to close out qualification at 9 p.m. Eastern. Oh yeah, the ball just gets her in the face. That's what happened right there on that clearance try. You can prepare yourself, it's easier, but when you have no idea that that ball's gonna get kicked up, that's a tough one. But for St. Lucia, they close out Sunday night against Nicaragua at 9 p.m. Chance here tonight for Nicaragua. If they beat Costa Rica, they must win. They will finish atop of Group F. A win or a draw for Costa Rica and they will advance on to the championship. You go back to last Friday when this, when this qualification for the championship began, 27 teams were vying for a spot in that. As we take a look at this replay once again, there you can see nothing intentional there on the clearance by Ramirez. 27 teams are vying for a chance in to championship play, joining the U.S. and Mexico May 24th through June 3rd down the Dominican Republic. Four now have advanced. Panama from Group B, Group C sees Dominican Republic. We do have a yellow card, so they are going to say a high boot there by Tori Ramirez. Group D, Puerto Rico advances, and Group E, Jamaica, the only one still that has not had a group Qualifier is Group A, and that will happen between El Salvador and Canada tomorrow, and Group F, which will happen tonight between Nicaragua and Costa Rica. That Canada-El Salvador game will be tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Eastern. So a chance here for St. Lucia on the free kick. Micaiah Smith will take it. Smith lining up with the right. See what kind of contact she can get to try to challenge Belinda Linares, who has yet to see a shot on target, has yet to see a shot in general. So that yellow card actually is Shillelagh Flowers. As this is driven in, takes a deflection on the wall, goes off the crossbar and out. So now the first corner of the night for St. Lucia. Great ball in right there by Micaiah Smith. And now she'll head over the corner. Smith setting up with that right foot. Outward swinging ball coming. Knocked down here, but not cleared out by Ramirez. Sent right back in, now sent out past the touchline. Own goal called by, coming from Shillelagh Flowers in this game back in the sixth minute. Long throw in. Chance here on the ground. Not the near post, but sent that wide of the target. You see St. Lucia just attacking at the ball. Belize was standing back, waiting for that ball to come to their feet. They got to move up. They got to get to that ball first. Jelly Myers waiting for the ball to come to her. We see her usually just go right at the ball here. Velasquez poke it out, but back is Marissa Duncan. Duncan able to get around the first defender there in Apollonio, but Apollonio able to win the ball right back. Now just hands it right over. Here's Joseph. Repelled away by Belize. Little back heel there by Smith as she tried to create Smith space. Vars will drop it back. Ever will simply play this out past the touch line.
Ricochet and corner here for Belize. That did allow the one goal, but she's already made three saves so far in tonight's game. Navarez, the captain waits the go ahead. Also Alexander uh, getting a little lecture there, probably some pushing and grabbing going on like you always see as players fight for position. Nunez, to the top of the area. Missed chance on that corner for Belize. Lewis, a little stutter and go. Lewis has some space to work with. Now attacking the area. Try to slot this one through, and that's chipped in on the play by Frigian Joseph. And St. Lucia has equalized here in the 17th minute. Beautiful ball across, finding Joseph for the goal. So Frigian Joseph with the first goal for St. Lucia. Just taps it in with ease. Nice pass over by Arnika Lewis. Just onside was Joseph. It was close. That goal coming in the 17th minute and we are all tied up at one apiece. Great to see both teams here get early goals. Now let's see who puts on the pressure on the back line next. Belize will have the first opportunity as this ball is driven by Navarez. No danger here for Bousset. Very close there to being offside. But a nice little tap in for Frigian Joseph. Plays for Uptown Rebels SC. Just want to time that back run perfectly, and Joseph on that occasion did. Polonio playing it forward. Velasquez going to get to her right, but dispossessed of the ball by Averill. Averill's been active at that center back position here tonight for St. Lucia. Had the unlucky deflection that went right to the foot of Flowers for the opening goal. Flowers trying to slip this through. All played up. Arnika Lewis, who had the assist on that goal by Joseph. Lewis cuts inside. Chance here for Lewis. Near post. Lewis blocked on the play by Lenars. Lenars making a great save. And Lenars is slow to get up, but what a stop there on Lewis by Lenares. Lewis going to that near post. Has a chance. Gets it to her left. Shoots with the right. Just right between the hands there of Linares, making the save. Hopefully Linares is all right. We have seen Lorraine Crawford play in qualification. Just hope right now, it's just the eyes watering. She took that shot right in the nose. 
Here's a look back at the first goal by Flowers. Averill does everything right, clears it away, just not far enough from the foot of Flowers. That goal came in the sixth minute for Belize. Their third goal here in Group F play. Set trying to reach out and make the save, but unable to get to it. And here's the goal by St. Louis. Uh, just a little tap in by Joseph. Just tap it in, and she does that. Doesn't try to do anything fancy. Knows that she has the whole side of that left goal side to work with to get that tap in. Is in good position. If that would have gone back to the far post, she's going to make that stop. There you see Wayne Casimiro, the coach of Belize. On the other side, it's Emmanuel Balas. Nice Rosario saying we are good to go as Linares is back up. First of two games here in Group F tonight. Nicaragua will take on Costa Rica. That at 9 p.m. Eastern. That'll be the nightcap. Big game tonight for Nicaragua and Costa Rica. Must win for Nicaragua if they want to win Group F. Then you look at tomorrow, Canada and El Salvador. Same situation for El Salvador, a must win for them. The draw does not help either side. Marissa Duncan, the player down for St. Lucia. There you see the clip with the right foot of Shendra Casimiro. <laughs> Looking at what has happened so far here in qualification play, Group B, Panama, has solidified their spot on top. Dominican Republic in Group C. Puerto Rico, top of the standings in Group D. And in Group E, it's Jamaica. Duncan able to walk off under her own power and she has the ice back on her side, so she'll be ready to go back in. Here's the goal score, Joseph loses possession. Both teams trying to build out. Let's see which one connect on some passes, connect the dots here. From working her way outside is Lewis now on the near side of the field. We see her see, play on that right wing as this was slotted forward. She was looking for the captain in Jones. Velasquez, but hit off the back of the heel of Averill. Again, Averill doing a great job here in this opening 25 minutes. Here's Regis. Regis gets by one defender. Chance to cross over. She was looking to connect with Joseph on that pass, but just with a mistouch, sent to the side of the webbing. Right idea there. Just couldn't fully execute. Good back and forth battle here between St. Lucia and Belize as we'll have a cooling break. Triana Bousset right now for St. Lucia, doing enough to keep that woman off the board in Velasquez. She had a great attempt earlier that was kicked aside by Bousset. Lone goals in this one for each side. We began with Shaleli Flowers who scored in the sixth minute. Frigian Joseph would follow it up 11 minutes later with the goal for St. Lucia. That's their first goal here in group play. 
Meanwhile for Belize, back-to-back -back games with a goal. For both these two teams, you've seen more movement here in open space, both trying to use the width of the field. You've seen Belize go up the middle a little bit more so than St. Lucia. So Belize not afraid to work in those narrow spaces. Good job in the middle today once again by our officials. It's been that way throughout qualification. Last game here for Belize, so you know they want at least a point. They prefer three. Meanwhile, St. Lucia also looking for their first point here in qualification play, but they do have another game left on Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern against Nicaragua. Some notes there from Wayne Casimiro as we take a look now at the St. Lucia side. I'm sure Emmanuel Blas doing the same thing. See there, Belinda Lenar is pointing at her forehead where she got hit on the shot try earlier. That shot coming from Arnika Lewis. Lenar is though in the perfect spot. Doesn't matter how you save it as long as you do. Of course, hands makes it easier than with the forehead. You've seen various goalkeepers come out here in qualification play, not just because of just a normal sub, but we've seen a few injuries as well. Another beautiful evening in Managua, Nicaragua, the capital city of Nicaragua. And great job hosting. And the championship will be held May 24th through June 3rd in the Dominican Republic, as this ball is intended for Velasquez. And she's knocked off the ball there by Averill. So that'll send Navarez, the captain, over. Navarez. Good set up there by Navarez. Streaking through was Apollonio to get her head to it. Sent it wide of the post, but a good looking attempt there. You can see the frustration on Apollonio. That's one she knows that she missed, but still, great connection, great pass. St. Asia will play it away for St. Lucia. Both center backs here for St. Lucia doing an excellent job. And St. Ainge as well as Averill. On the other side, not much action yet for Belize. It's been really more the outside backs that have seen the threats on the wings. Whether it's Joseph or Arnika Lewis attacking down the touch lines. Velasquez, a chance here, crossing the shot. Oh, blasted over the crossbar. Flowers was wide open, but cannot get her second goal as she sends it up and over and into the stands. Wayne Casemiro has to be happy with what he's seen from his team here in this opening 30 minutes of play. Navarez right there for Belize. Duncan. I squeeze that through a couple defenders and it's picked off by Apollonio. She'll play it inside, Flowers. The goal scorer will play it to the near touch line but intercepted in the process by Marissa Duncan. Played it behind her intended target there in Arnika Lewis. She plays that outside. It's gonna be a chance for Lewis, but just not on the same page on that run try. Duncan stopped out. 
Apollonio. Nice pass by Apollonio here. And an opportunity, no, Casemiro couldn't do anything with it. Duncan was looking for Joseph. Now trying to connect, but hit off Joseph's legs and goes out of play. Oh, a near steal by Lewis. Myers loses possession, nearly regained it back before it rolled over the touchline. Long ball. Velasquez is offside. Velasquez nearly on there. Left a little bit earlier. Navarez. Dispossessed on the ball there. Gianna Hilton that was putting the pressure on Navarez to win the ball back for St. Lucia for a second. Maybe a chance here, Velasquez. Onside, Velasquez with the right. Knocked away by Busset. the follow up over once again for Belize. Another good stop by Busset. Busset once again denies Velasquez, this time onside. Velasquez has a great angle. Busset barely gets it with a right then off her knee. Rebound try goes up and over the crossbar. Two goals chances that Belize would like back. This game could very much be three to one right now in favor of Belize. Joseph runs over the ball. Nunez. Well, you gotta like the confidence right now, Belize, in their attacking third. Jeremy Manuel Belas right there. You gotta be happy with what you've seen from your keeper in Triana Bousset. Bousset's made six saves already here in the opening half. Also have a couple of clear miss shots by Belize as well. Navarez just sliding through the defense. Velasquez gets by one defender. Long range shot knocked down by Busset on the near post, and this will be a corner. Well, Velasquez getting a little bit more confidence. Gets through two defenders right there. Near post, that's bending in. If Busset does not stop that, that's a for sure goal for Belize. Navarro's over to the near corner. Played in by Velasquez, no one there for Belize. Navarro's playing down the line. Velasquez top of the 18, knocked away. Good job by San Asia, getting in front of that to knock it out past the end line.
Alvarez. Right down by St. Age, now pushed aside. Tavares will look to send it in to the mixer once again. Off the hands of Busset. talk about your long range goal coming from the captain in Navarez and Bleas is up two to one. Rashani Navarez with her first goal in group play. Gets it on target, Busset gets her hands to it, just cannot knock it down. Perfect spot for Busset, just can't get high enough on her leap. Just right between the fingertips. And Rashani Navarez and Belize that now have back-to-back -back games with two goals. Velasquez tonight on the ball. A little chip there at Duncan. Some words being said. No yellow card handed out. Lily Flowers does have a yellow card in this match. There you see the collision between Duncan and Velasquez and the hard challenge by Duncan. And then a little kick to the backside. Call that in rugby, getting the boots. Last guy's lucky though, she did not get handed a yellow car there. It's a good thing because Velasquez was all alone in the middle there for Belize. If that ball gets to the foot of Velasquez, that probably for sure is the goal. He's getting a little rough now here as we get some pushing back and forth. A little shove in the back there to Janelle Nunez. Lewis knocked off the ball by Nunez. Lewis tripped up on the play. That's Janelle Nunez of Verdes Rebels committing the foul. Clear foul by Nunez. Free kick try now here for St. Lucia. Christian Joseph, the goal scorer for St. Lucia, will have the opportunity here on the free kick. Knocked away, not cleared out. Still not cleared out. Now off target shot, but a good ball in and a nice save once again by Linares. She has made two good saves here, and here's another one. Able to push it aside. And then Navarez has issues cleaning up. Trying to get in there was Regis, but she goes right over Navarez. Maybe if Regis gets that ball cleanly, a chance to get a strike on target. Jones slips it by. Player down is Asa Alexander for St. Lucia.
Just knee on knee right there between Alexandra and Janelle Nunez. Once you stand up, you're usually all right. Just need to walk this off. Two to one is our score here between St. Lucia and Belize. One more game on tap later on tonight between Nicaragua and Costa Rica here in Group F. That'll be at 9 p.m. Eastern. Of course, we'll have all that action for you as well. Alexander able to walk off under her own power. That's good, especially right before half. The last thing you want is one of those injuries. Lewis. Let's see if she won her team a corner. She did. Smith will head to the far corner. Three minutes remains here in the opening half. Smith. So Lucia will have another opportunity. Plays inside, good movement here to Velasquez. Velasquez though, unable to get by Avril. Wonder here for Belize as they look for their third goal of the opening half. If they are to score here, whether it's in this half or the next half, it'll be the most goals they have scored in a game here in group play. Varez drives it. Velasquez. Apolonio. Well played over by Ramirez to Nunez. Nunez just playing this to space. Now trying to get to the ball first. Good effort there by Nunez. Elva Nunez tracks back, crosses the halfway line. Caplanio out of the circle. Nunez brings it to her left foot. Two minutes of stoppage time added on. Played over by Alexander. Maybe a chance here for St. Lucia late. Regis. Regis wins the ball back. Not fully cleared out there by Belize. St. Lucia still on the attack.
Lewis has an assist from earlier. Crossing over, looking for a second assist. Lewis on the follow-up, no. Can she get back up? She does. Tips it out. Chance here. Alexander, oh, slow roller allowing Linares to fall on top of the ball. Great work there by St. Lucia here in this first minute of stoppage time of the first half. Maybe a chance still. Alexander. Jones, the captain. Looking back for Alexander. Here's Casemiro back for Belize. Smith. Played out wide, Smith able to keep it in. Good effort there by Smith. Now a chance late. Denied by Navarez though. And that's gonna close out the first half. Good close out there for St. Lucia as they'll gain some confidence going into the locker room. But after 45 minutes of play, Belize up two to one over St. Lucia.
two teams come out to attack here in the second half as we will have a substitution to begin. Corey William will be on for St. Lucia. Off will go the goal scorer in Frisian Joseph. Sorry, the one change for St. Lucia. Again, St. Lucia does play Sunday against Nicaragua at 9 p.m. to close out group play. It's been a great week so far. For Belize, their group qualifying coming to an end here tonight. As they look for that first win, they fell against Costa Rica and Guatemala as well as Nicaragua. And St. Lucia looking in here on the front foot to begin this second half as this is played to the new near side but sent out the other direction by Nigeli Myers. Myers active first half, bounding up and down that touchline. This ball intended for Regis in the channel. Also giving chase here is Arnika Lewis and simple play out by Nigeli Myers. So Lucia looking for an equalizer here early. Christian Joseph, the lone goal scorer for St. Lucia. That back in the 17th minute. Chilele Flowers scored in the 6th minute. And then Rashani Navarra scored in the 37th minute for Belize. Lewis taps it out. Brought back by Duncan, but Duncan offside. Group F action, the first of two games. The nightcap will be a great one. Nicaragua and Costa Rica for that top spot here in Group F. If Nicaragua wins, they will have the top spot in Group F. Meanwhile, for Costa Rica, all they need is a win or a draw, and they will solidify their spot in the chance in the championship May 24th through June 3rd. We'll be in the Dominican Republic. Here's Vlasquez, who's been denied a couple times by the keeper, Bousset. Flowers looking for her second goal, but here's Duncan. Good effort by Duncan. Chipped over, barely over the crossbar. Missed opportunities tonight for Belize, to say the least. That one by Casemiro. Then Ainge plays it out. Navarez in the circle. It's nearly snuck around there to win the ball back for St. Lucia. Good move here by Duncan to avoid the first defender in Flowers. Flowers retreating towards midfield, gives it right back to Duncan. Duncan seeing a long ball looking for Arnika Lewis. Really back here by the center back, Tori Ramirez. Jones. Flowers with the pressure. Duncan gets by one defender, now gets by Flowers as she's tripped up. And Flowers handed the yellow card. Let's get confirmation on this because that should be her second yellow card and she's gonna be off with a red card now. So bad news for Belize as they will be playing a player down for the remainder. So she gets the yellow card there on the hard challenge. And there you see the red card come out of the back pocket by Anais Rosario, second of the game for Flowers. And this is the last thing Belize wanted to be in here. 50 minutes in, playing a player down is not a good sign. They are gonna have struggles. If they can get one more goal, that might be enough. But let's see how St. Lucia decides to attack the open space here. 
corner here for St. Lucia coming. You see that knotted out right there by Najili Myers. Now they'll have to defend. Shavy Flowers needs to know where she is on the field. How much time's left too? Committed a hard challenge. And now Micaiah Smith heads to the corner. Duncan. Hilton, missed touch. To the top of the 18, volleyed on there by Jones. Duncan once again with it. Regis attacking the inline. with that red card, you see the Im immediate momentum change to St. Lucia. Let's see what Belize does here in this build up the first time they've had the ball since that red card. Towards midfield. Knocked away by St. Inge. Brought up by St. Lucia out of the circle for Jones onside. Jones want to tap that out to Regis, but good job coming in to help defensively by Myers. Velasquez ahead of everyone. That's where the pass goes, but too strong. Go back again to that first half. The saves that Brousset made to keep her country in this game. This score could easily be five to one in favor of Belize. Smith plays it in. And one right back by Belize, Tavares. Velasquez. Tavares who scored the second goal for Belize to give him that two to one lead. Nunez coming up. Tavares on the ground, ball won by Duncan. Last touch the toe there, Tori Ramirez. Lucia trying to play quick as they look for an equalizer. Monique Lewis, she's been very active as Najili Myers goes down. Myers able though to get back up. Great to see. Just the one sub, Chloe William in for St. Lucia. I've yet to say her name since she stepped on the field. Hilton. Chopped down by Navarez. Regis wanted Lewis. Menares will kick it away. Turn it on by Velasquez, now chip forward. It's an age unable to get by Velasquez. Velasquez maybe with an opportunity from long range. Off the crossbar. Well, Velasquez stopped twice by Bousset and now by the woodwork. Just not her day, but maybe still with more time remaining, she can get that goal that's been missing for her. And maybe it's right here. Velasquez this time gets it in. And Belize have a three to one lead. Well, it's only a matter of time for Velasquez as she gets her first goal of the game and third overall here in qualification play. Claudia Velasquez finally gets on the board. 
Just patient here by Velasquez, an easy tap in. She saw Bousset going out to the middle, so she just slots it to the near post. Solid goal there by the attacker. That goal coming in the 54th minute. And you also look at that importance of that goal. That goal coming four minutes after Flowers was sent off with the double yellow. A little breathing room right now for Belize as they search for their first three points. And to close out with a win. Again, one more game for St. Lucia as they will play Sunday night, 9 p.m. against Nicaragua. That's the next game in Group F between Nicaragua and Costa Rica at 9 p.m. Tomorrow, a big one between El Salvador and Canada, which will decide Group A. All the other groups but A and F have been decided. I'll give you those here in a moment. St. Ange. Jones was there for St. Lucia. It's tapped out once again by Myers. Lewis, Duncan. In the groups that have already solidified a spot here in the championship, May 24th through June 3rd in the Dominican Republic. Well, Mexico and US already have that down, but the four here so far is Panama, Group B. Group C was Dominican Republic. Group D, Puerto Rico. And Group E, Jamaica. Six groups in total, A through F. Velasquez somehow gets through the two defenders to get to that loose ball. Nunez to Velasquez as she looks for a brace. Velasquez right at Bousset. Velasquez a brace in the game against Nicaragua on Wednesday. Nearly had one right there. She could have had a few goals, maybe probably should have had a hat trick in this game already. Jones. Coming up was Myers. Duncan finds Regis. Regis has Duncan to her right. Ramirez gets by Duncan. Alva Nunez looking for it on the return, but cutting off that angle. Good job there by Gianna Hilton. Alexander out of the circle. Sent away from danger there. Good job by Shamika Lambie. Averill. Nunez looking for Velasquez, but too much pace on that pass. Please playing a player down with the exit of Shalali Flowers, who left in the 50th minute with a second yellow. Breathing room with Velasquez's goal coming back in the 54th minute. Myers knocked off the ball. Lewis inside, Jones. Juarez. Hit up in the sky by Smith, mistouched. Find Velasquez to get to the ball for Belize. She has runners inside. One of those runners being Casemiro. A 
Tavares, who has one goal from long range, looks for number two. Tavares plays it out. Casemiro. William getting a foot to it. William the lone sub so far. William playing with 1987 All-Stars, replaced for Jeanne Joseph, the goal scorer. Joseph out of Uptown Rebels will see her night come to a close, but it will be fresh for Sunday. Thirty minutes remains as Belize leads three to one here in Managua at Estadio National Day Football. First of two games. The host team will play next. Nicaragua doing a great job with their fan support coming into these games for whether it's Belize and St. Lucia here or other ones that we've seen throughout the time here in this qualification play. And we'll pack the house once again tonight as they know a berth is on the line for them as we'll have a sub now. So Casemiro will come off, Kenya Perez on. night for Casemiro as we'll also have a sub in a moment for St. Lucia. So we'll wait till the next opportunity for St. Lucia as they search now for two goals to get this game all leveled up. Navarez. Nunez gets by one defender in Duncan. Nunez, a little threaded pass for Velasquez, sends it wide. Laxquez is put in the work, but just the lone goal is show for it. She could probably have two, if not three. So Alexander off. So Sage Lionel will come in. And Alexander steps off. Nell has been used as a sub in the previous games as she also represents Uptown Rebels SC. Change for sitting across midfield. Myers pops it into the air. Duncan, Regis, for Arnika Lewis in the channel. Lewis able to get the five, the defender and Ramirez on the end line. Corner coming for St. Lucia. And Belize playing with 10 on the field. Actually, the Flowers went off in the 50th minute. But Belize, during that time, did get their third goal. St. Lucia now in search of their second goal of the evening. Smith, near post, headed up. Lenara is slow to get up. Two players down for Belize. Lenara's went down earlier. And you wonder if Eugenie Myers might have got hit in the back by Linares. And she did. That's what it looks like there from that angle as she, yeah, does hold her head. Oh 
Self-inflicted damage there on the near post for Belize, but ball does not cross the goal line. Great to see Jelly Myers able to get up because she has been very instrumental here this evening for Belize. Dispossessed of the ball. Velasquez playing deep, gets back defensively. Hard challenge from behind by Regis. Look there at Emmanuel Belasa. St. Lucia, hoping his team can find two goals. They just need to find that first. Meanwhile, for Wayne Casemiro, he's got to be very pleased with what he's seen from his country here to close out their time in group play. I just really like what they did here these last two games. Had the brace by Velasquez on Wednesday against Nicaragua and then responding with three goals here tonight. Five goals in their last two games shut out in their very first two. So finishing strong, to say the least. Slow start for Belize as well as St. Lucia here. Sometimes you have to knock off those nerves and sometimes you just get beat by better teams. Little back heel. Perez. Spinning away, plays it inside and gives it up to Lionel who just subbed on, but Lionel gives it right back to Belize and now wins it back. Velasquez slots it over. Nunez to her left foot, Nunez. Oh, sneaks it in on the near post and Belize has four. Elva Nunez with her first goal. Nunez just comfortably brings it to her left and goes near post. Bousset flat footed, can't get over to make the save. And Belize has a four to one lead over St. Lucia. to this game, just uh, one goal scorer in Velasquez. We now have three different scores joining her. And of course, add Velasquez with a goal in this game. She has three to lead the country. Aliso handling this game, even a player down. St. Lucia looking to get their second tally on the board. This ball cut out though by Ramirez. Yeah. 
Tori Williams, she's been physical since she stepped onto the field, and I think that was our warning right there from Anais Rosario. Maybe next to one, William gets a yellow card. She's not afraid to hand him out. Lewis intercepts the pass. Lewis, a chance here for St. Louis to her left. Lewis, and smaller than this is Lenars. Oh, and she gets kicked right in the stomach by William, who was just talked to. No surprise that that is a yellow card. Well, William needs to hold off on this. Lenars clearly has it. Great job by Lewis. You see there, Jones coming up getting the shot attempt. Just that swing through right in the stomach of Linares. No doubt on that yellow card right there. No questions asked. Just hope Linares is all right. Also taking that stomach, the rib cage. Sure, he took a ball in the face earlier too in the first half to make a save on a chance by Lewis. Linares has definitely been working in that goalkeeper spot here tonight. See, right there. Linares helped up. Looking for their first points. As they lead St. Lucia here four to one in group F play. One more game tonight. Nicaragua taking on Costa Rica. That'll be at 9 p.m. Eastern. Doing a good job creating space. Jones there taking a chance on the shot, and there's the yellow. Tomorrow you have Cuba taking on St. Vincent. That'll begin at 3 p.m. Canada and El Salvador, that'll be at 6 p.m. Again, that's Group A action as Canada looks to clinch that with a win or a draw. And you also have Curacao and St. Martin. That'll be at 6 p.m. Eastern as well. Costa Rica, Guatemala on Sunday at 6 p.m. And to close out, it'll be Nicaragua and St. Lucia. Couple more subs getting ready, come on. So off we'll go Hilton. On comes Shania Scott. Audrey Sanchez will also come on for our last goal scorer in Elva Nunez. Alvin Nia scoring the last goal in the 68th minute. 18 minutes after her teammate, Shlele Flowers, went out with the second yellow card. Breathing room, no doubt, here for Belize. who has a goal, knocked off the ball. Good effort right there once again by Faith Regis. She's had a solid game as this is played over to William who just got the yellow card. Plays it forward, but no one at the spot or the six for St. Lucia. Perez fighting for position. Of 
Torres looking for Velasquez as this is knocked down by Avril. Avril, solid game tonight for St. Lucia. Dang a ball, this one knocked down on the play by Lionel, who subbed on about 10 minutes ago. Tavares pokes it to herself. Now for Najili Myers. Myers will play it down the line. And now to the sub, Sanchez. Back to Myers, has Sanchez to her right, but knocked off the ball. Good job there by Shania Scott, who just subbed on. Sanchez here, trying to get through Duncan. Myers, Velasquez. Duncan will play it out. Popped up high. Knocked down. The follow up and the rebound is in as it is tapped in by Kenya Perez. Bissett made the initial save. And then Perez able to get the rebound. That's why you always attack trying to get one of those spills. And Perez does that just right there for the fifth goal for Belize. <laughs> Set able to knock that down and Kenya Perez in the perfect spot. No one marking her. St. Lucia just ball watching too much. And Perez able to get it by Busset. Good stop here by Busset and Perez. That one nearly stopped by the leg of Busset. If you had to guess which team was playing a player down, you would not think it was Belize. Since Shalali Flowers went off the field with the second yellow card, Belize has put up three goals. The first by Velasquez, the second by Nunez, and the last one by Perez. And you see the confidence for this Belize side. Dominating possession now. Not afraid to be aggressive. Going right at St. Lucia, who has 11 on the field. That's a look at these goals all coming in the run of play. A lot of times we'll see those corners and the set pieces that go in. Not the case tonight for Velasquez and company. Apolonio. Jones right on her shoulder, wins the ball back. No, she's gonna be called for a foul. And so maybe we will see one of those free kick opportunities right here for Belize. At the Belize, Shalali Flowers got things going in the sixth minute. And Frigian Joseph would get a goal for St. Lucia on the 17th. Things would remain tied until the 36th minute with the captain, Roshani Navarez, would score for Belize. Then it's Velasquez in the 54th, Nunez in the 68th, and Perez in the 76th for Belize. Apolonio and Perez stand by the ball. Apolonio with the right, Perez with the left. Apolonio will take this. I think Sanchez and Velasquez not on the same page there. Sanchez was closer to the ball right there. She just needed to get her left foot out and maybe a chance to get down on frame. You can see she's frustrated with herself as she hits herself in the head. Sanchez is probably thinking Velasquez was a little bit further up on a back post run than she was. William. William with the yellow card falls to the surface. Offside flag, though, is up. Two players offside there for St. Lucia.
Vasquez giving chase. Head over the leg of Sanchez. Straight up. Chopped down by Belize. Ramirez plays it four, but no one up front for Belize at the moment. Flame will play it inside. He now loses possession. Scott looking for Lewis as once again Myers there for Belize. Warner though for St. Lucia as they look for their second tally tonight. More fans beginning to trickle in for the next game. Nicaragua and Costa Rica, 9 p.m. But they want to catch the end of this one. will deliver with the right. Five different goal scorers tonight for Belize. Lewis tapped up and over by Linares. Solid stop right there. Linares batting this up with a right hand to deny Arnika Lewis. Gets the palm to it, gets it on top. That's what you love to see if you're a fan of goalkeeping. Just pops it right over the crossbar. Doesn't try to catch it because we've seen numerous times we even saw a goal for Belize where it went right through the hands of Bousset instead of popping it up in the air. Good fundamentals right there from Belinda Linares. Lewis, inward swinging ball on top of the cage. And once again there you see Linares try to swipe at this ball. If she does get a piece of it, it'll go out and be another corner. Otherwise, right there, Lewis may be going for the Olympico. I had a couple of runners in there as well. Ramirez. Duncan. Lewis slots it over. And get on the return. William. Another corner here for Arnika Lewis. Lewis lofts it. Velasquez, who has a goal in this game, two from last. Three in total, most for Belize. Effort there by Lambie. Now we'll have a change as Belial will come in and Linares will head off. Good evening for Belinda Linares. Delaney Belial in. Linares with one final great save before coming off. And she would stop Lewis here. You see her get kicked in the stomach. Great way to close out the night, helping your team with a four-goal lead. 
Janelle Nunez also heading off. Maria King will come on. Remember, Blaze is doing this still with the player down. Here's a chance for Velasquez. Looking for number two, back post. Oh, and it trickles over the end line. Dance it up, enjoy it. As Velasquez gets her second goal and a little celebration there as Belize leads six to one. Lydia Velasquez, two games in a row where she has scored twice. Velasquez does a great job, just gets it by. Bousset once again flat footed, not electing to go down and make a diving play. That ball's close, you gotta make the effort, you gotta dive to try to make the stop, especially when you're trailing. And now stoppage time can't come soon enough for St. Lucia. 11 on 10 since the 50th minute and all the goals have scored from the team that's down a player. Williams gotta be careful, she already has one yellow card. Delaying the game, playing that out. Here's the foul by William. Clear foul. And she knocks Shanika Lamby down and then she kicks it out past the end line. I think that's nice Rosario being very nice and not giving out a second yellow card to Clory William. Tavares, who has a goal in tonight's game. Shalali Flowers got things going in the sixth minute for Belize as Sanchez loses possession. Played in by Regis, but right behind Lewis. Lambie. Hard collision there between Lambie and Lewis. Aplanio. Jump there, I mean, you can see clearly on the ball was Lambie. Going right over was Lewis. Here is Arnika Lewis. Lewis attacking, Lewis the shot denied. Good stop there by the new keeper, Jolini Belisle. Continue where Lenore is left off. Scott blocked. Lewis all over the field here tonight for St. Lucia. Little step over, Lewis to the left foot. Great save here by Belisle going down somehow, denying that goal from Lewis. Service, Myers clears it for the moment. Lewis regains. Lewis by one defender and Myers. Now by two, centering pass. Lewis having a great game for St. Lucia. Unfortunately for her, nothing to show for it. 
been denied a couple times by both keepers by Belinda Linares and Jelini Belisle. Two minutes of stoppage time added on. Two more minutes for Belize to wait before they get their first win here in Group F. All around performance by this Belize side. Lewis tackled to the ground. Sanchez. Sanchez maybe should have had a goal, but this time the ball, let it go by her as she's showing off some of her skills. Velasquez. Apollonio played to the side. William. Smith will send this in. Unfortunately for St. Lucia, they're gonna fall in this game to Belize, but they do have another game, another opportunity on Sunday, 9 p.m. against Nicaragua. And of course, Nicaragua will take on, on our next match, will be up against Costa Rica. That game will be at 9 p.m. Eastern, right here in Managua. Myers. Navarez tracking back, same age there first, but plays it off Navarez. Navarez already scored from long distance. Velasquez looking for the hat trick. And Velasquez will just delay a little more time. And maybe one last free kick here for Velasquez and company. Velasquez takes this, or if it'll be Apollonio. Velasquez maybe with a chance for a hat trick here late in stoppage. She's putting the ball down, so you have to think she's gonna try to bend this over the wall. Two players on both posts. Velasquez looking for that seventh goal for Belize in her third of the game. Velasquez. Apollonio runs through, Velasquez bending down and wide. And there is the final whistle and Belize gets their first win by a score of six to one here in Group F play over St. Lucia. It was a hard fought win for Belize playing a player down since the 50th minute, but they come through as they close out the first match of the night, six to one highlights when we return. Ninety minutes in the books between St. Lucia and Belize here in Group F, and well, it was a good one here 
in the first 45 minutes, stayed very close. Velasquez here getting denied by Bousset. Bousset, a strong first half play. She had four terrific saves to really keep her country in this game against Belize. Here you would have the long distance shot knocked down. Flowers though on the follow-up, puts it into the corner for the first goal. That would come in the sixth minute of play, but no reason for St. Lucia to lose their composure as they would get right back in it just moments later. It would be a nice little pass over for Lewis. She was all over the field and then a little tap in by Frasian Joseph in the 17th. Nice pass by Lewis, the assist, and Joseph with the finish, her first goal and the first goal in the tournament so far for St. Lucia. So St. Lucia getting on the board here in qualification in the third game as they would tie things up in the 17th minute. But after that, it would be all Belize here. A great chance by Lewis, but denied by the keeper and Belinda Lennar. She made some terrific saves here. A kickaway by Bousset once again, stopping the chance of Velasquez. Velasquez able to get through a couple defenders near post. Bousset says, nope, not this time. Here's the goal from the captain of ours, just right through the hands of Bousset. Couldn't bat it down, couldn't catch it. And Avaris would have her first goal here in group play. Great strike there by Navarre. Bousset just couldn't get high enough to make that stop. Another great angle right there. First goal for the captain. And the lead before half was two to one for Belize. And then things would unravel in the second half for St. Lucia. Belize would play this out wide to begin. And they would get on the pressure early. Here a shot from distance off the crossbar. Woodwork was the friend of Bousset right there now. Connecting with Velasquez. Velasquez this time does not miss. That would be in the 54th minute right after Shalali Flowers went off with her second yellow card of the game. So this is all with Belize playing a player down for a majority of this second half. Velasquez would get her first of two right there for Belize. Two on Wednesday night, now two on Friday. Wayne Casemiro happy with what he's seen from his side. Belize a reason to celebrate. Velasquez, this shot denied by Bousset. Nearly had her second right there. She was looking for the near post. Nice little slip ball. And Velasquez just sends it wide. Great opportunity by Velasquez. Good chance Velasquez should have had three or more goals today as she plays this right over. And then a nice move by Elva Nunez going near post as she would get her first goal in group play. That coming in the 68th minute, just a nice little save. Bousset not going down to make the stop. And all Elva Nunez had to do is slot it in. And she does just that. Nunez, a great shot right there. Easy spot picking and a commanding lead for Belize, but they would not let St. Lucia off the hook. Here, St. Lucia trying to clear it. Long shot from distance, blocked down by Bousset, and then the follow-up and the tap-in right there by Kenya Perez, who had just subbed on. She gets the fifth goal in the 76th minute for Belize. Set, great stop initially, but you see Perez just coming up to tap the ball in. Good job charging forward and getting that rebound attempt. St. Lucia though would have opportunities. Lewis would be all over Belinda Linares that time. That one punched up and over by Linares. And here Velasquez getting it done once again. Just a simple little soft roller to the back post as she would end the night with a brace as that one would come in the 86th minute. And Velasquez and Belize, they could begin dancing after that goal in celebration, knowing that this one was well out of hand. And I saw a night here, the backup keeper coming on in, Jelini Belial making a great kick save to close out the night. Belize, a dominant performance, even playing a man down as they get the win by a score of six to one over St. Lucia. And now a look at the standings. So Belize with that one win. 
They'll finish in that four spot. St. Lucia right behind them. But Costa Rica and Nicaragua, winner of this game. If it is Costa Rica, win or draw, they will win. Group F, Nicaragua needs a win if they want that spot. But for this CONCACAF crew, I'm Josh Toll saying thank you for tuning in.